Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video I will be sharing this corner right here in my sunroom and I will be adding in all of the wonderful colors that fall brings us each and every year. I've had to um, situate my furniture a certain way because I don't know about all of you, but when I start getting into fall and Christmas and I start bringing in other large pieces like the Christmas trees, I have to situate things um, in a way that they normally are not throughout the year because I just, I don't have a lot of space here. That's my largest complaint about cottage living. Um, having to learn to decorate with the space that you have and wishing you had just a little bit more. But anyhow, okay, so if you find yourself enjoying this video and you have not subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to The Little Blue Fly. Make sure to hit that notification bell, select all, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because it greatly helps us in the algorithm. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so we're starting off with, um, well, I, I suppose I'll speak about this for a moment. This is Old English. It is a wood conditioner that I love using for this table. So for the lighter wood, I use the lighter Old English and the darker wood, I use the darker Old English, but I will be using this today. It is by Murphy. It is a cleaner because I don't want to put the oil on the table because I'm getting ready to use tablecloths and I don't want the oil on them. This uh, Murphy's cleaner, it smells really good. I also like to use the one by Target that has a very nice almond scent. The bottle um, is, well, the liquid, the bottle's clear, but the liquid's brown. But Murphy's works very well. And again, I'm just, you know, giving it a little cleaning and dusting. The Old English oil really helps condition the wood and bring in a nice rich tone, but we don't need to worry about that today. We just need it clean. And I will be adding on um, some table linens from um, April Cornell. These were purchased from Home Goods. They were actually a score because when you go onto her website, they are so much more than what I paid at Home Goods. And the table came from Home Goods as well. Okay, so here is the first tablecloth. It is a 70 inch round. And always make sure when you work with linens, press those linens, ladies. Turn that iron up, get your starch, if you like to use starch, I do, and get to taking those wrinkles out of your linens. And here is the other that I placed on top. This is a 54 by 54 square. Um, I personally, this year, I wanted to use two of the same print, one on top of the other. I really like um, the look of this, but one could also use a different color. And at Home Goods, not only did they have this yellow, but they had um, oh, this wonderful brown color as well. I just, I just didn't want to really bring that one in this year. But I will also be using these very large, I'm just going to call them um, tea towels from William Sonoma. I've had these for a few years. I do not know if they still sell this pattern. But their linens are very good quality. And I will be using them on the tops of the table 
for when we sit down to have a little something to eat, it will help protect the tablecloth. So how I will be placing them is just over on top of another placemat. It's a jute placemat. I like the look. I like that weaved um, jute underneath and then having the, this pumpkin print on top of the back of the chair. And again, when we sit down, normally I'm the only one out here. I will place this down on the table as I eat um, my morning breakfast or lunch. The chairs were also purchased from Home Goods many years ago, and I believe the pillows as well. Okay, so here's um, my planter lamp that I love to decorate with so much. I have yet to give a DIY on how to do this. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but it might probably never happen. I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I can get around to um, giving a step-by-step -step on how to create this lamp. And I found this box of wonderful dried goods that I will be placing inside the lamp. So this greenery pretty much, um, gosh, I don't even remember where I purchased it from, I think. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, I'm not sure. But it stays inside this planter all year round. I never remove the green. And now, because there's quite a bit of faux, I'm going to add, I'm going to add in the dried naturals. And it's just really placing and tucking um, where you want them to go. I try to make sure I get some at the bottom, I get some at the top. Sometimes I cluster them all together. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Now I have this eucalyptus, and these are just um, very whimsy, very fun. Um, I like these because they just basically, they go everywhere, wherever they feel like it. There's no uniform look or feel using the eucalyptus. So pretty much the name of the game is just to cover up some of that faux and by using in all these um, dried naturals that were purchased from Home Goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, Michaels. And I have these other little wispy i believe these came from home goods as well i'm just snapping them on and just placing them within um i just sort of want these to go even more wild than the eucalyptus i'm centering these pretty much around you know up at at top in the center part have these berries in a pine cone just going to tuck one of these in up front because I do not want to add in um, that much more faux I have these little jute pumpkins they came on a stem I just took the stem off And I'm just going to add in three, one up in the back. That's up a little bit higher. You know, always try to bring height up in the back of your arrangements. And then um, two others, one to the left and right, you know, to have that triangle shape. And 
And if you notice up front, I really clustered quite a bit of the green faux flowers right there with the greenery right there because I just felt like having a cluster of green coming down up at front. Again, it just, however you're feeling, just go with it. You can never go wrong. So I'm just going to pluck and play. And it is just really just that simple. Um, I added in some more eucalyptus down at the bottom to really let it cascade down. Um, again, I just wanted this to look um, very free, um, very natural, you know. And I achieved that by just letting everything go pretty much everywhere. And I placed in some moss as well. So the black really pulls from the pillows. But now I want to um, just bring things up a bit. Um, I state this quite frequently, how I like to play with my decor. I like to add a very nice item like this silver tray, it came from Pottery Barn. It was a clearance find. So I placed it under my lamp. And so again, I like to play off of the decor. Um, use a nice piece like the silver tray and then over to the left, that is a gutter. Um, it's over a hundred years old. It was made out of wood. And you, you use the, you know, your, your nice pieces with your older pieces. And it just gives a good, balanced, welcoming feel. And the gutter is filled with potpourri. I'll take you in for a close-up. And old watches. So I found this piece of um, wood. I know there's a name for this. Um, I just, I'm just going to call it a pretty piece of wood. How about that? Um, this was just recently purchased from Home Goods, and I will be adding it inside of the silver tray because it's all about bringing in the warmth. I placed it off to the left. And on top, I will be adding in this pair. And pretty much, basically how they made this was it looks like they just cut pieces of a branch and then glued it on and added in some, some gold and a little bit of rope up at the top. And that would be a fun DIY to try. I think I purchased this, oh gosh, I don't know, Home Goods, maybe Ross, I'm not remembering. Again, I'm using many of my pieces again and again throughout the years because just to continue to shop and shop and shop, you know, they're just sometimes you just have to tell yourself, okay, I need to stop, right? And just start utilizing my items. This right here is fabulous. 1930s, a child's garden of verses. Very old. It has been taped right here because it had the binding is just the jacket is just um well it's not called a jacket but anyways it's trying to fall off so it's been held on by tape and here's the same image on the back the pages are all old and then I'll take you through to see some of the pictures inside and they are wonderful you know i like looking through old books um, at the images because you can put place them on um, a photocopier or give it to staples and they'll 
um, copy it for you and place them inside picture frames. There's so many um, nice photos inside books that um, can be used in so many different ways. I'm going through here to show you a couple different um, images here within the book. I love this one as well. Uh, there's something about, I'm sure it comes from my European roots, you know, mother being German and father being French, but I'm really drawn to images that have the European influence to them. And she just couldn't be happier on the swing. And how many of us have had fun playing on the staircase, wondering how on earth did we ever live through this? <laughs> and this is the same as the front cover. I still, to this day, even though I'm not a child at heart, I am, I always will be, I still will jump through that pile of leaves. A Child's Garden of Verses. Just a fabulous book. So I placed it in the back because what I'm trying to achieve here is just to get a little bit more depth into this corner not just a table in the corner but really pull it back and I believe I was able to achieve that by just adding one simple book and this is a glass jar that um, has been wrapped with some bark and I just placed in some candles that I will be using throughout the fall season. And this was purchased from TJ Maxx. This is why I try to keep stickers on things for $4.50. This is the this is the perfect table to just sit and enjoy a good read. Now, one of these trays I placed underneath the candles. This was just uh, for, I just purchased four of them. I just recently thrifted these. I noticed there's a little stamp on the back, so I'll give you a close up of that. But pretty much I'm the only one sitting at this table and it's just perfect in the morning. You know, when I have my toast and tea or or cream of wheat you know as the days are getting cooler and I think about when mom when we were children she would always make us cream of wheat in the morning and we always looked for that one little lump to be in our bowl because there's just something wonderful about having that lump inside of your cream of wheat and this is a little copper pot I just recently thrifted And I am going to use it as a candle holder. I thought, how perfect would this be? Because it's small and I do not have a lot of space on this table. And I will be adding some potpourri inside of the little copper bowl. Because I want um, to add, get some more green. Add in some more green. And... 50% off. Hey, this girl's happy over here. That's always nice because at Maryfield Garden, when you walk through that door, oh, they're going to get your pocketbook. <laughs> so again, if you all have found yourself being here this long, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and thank you for visiting.